Hi ladies. I'm sorry that you're not hearing a lot from me. It's a very, very busy season. And I know you all have those too. I'm in a interesting place today of uh, trying to trying to put together or figure out how to place my time for the rest of the week. And I'm struggling to concentrate on that because I'm emotionally discouraged. And that happens sometimes. It's always something that the Lord's really graceful to kind of encourage me through. And all that's happening is that I feel people retreating from me because I press for God's way in things. I'm going to be really honest with you. I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I say and do things I shouldn't. And I have absolutely no qualms at admitting that I can be wrong. But what's happening right now in my life with multiple people is retreat from me, not because I did wrong, but because what I brought was God's truth and it was a truth that in at least in the moment they didn't want to hear and I don't mean prophecy or anything like that I mean bringing God's word to a situation and encouraging people to follow it even when it's hard and I don't claim to do that in every moment I want to I don't Sometimes I'm selfish, sometimes I'm prideful, sometimes I'm thoughtless, sometimes I'm just purely forgetful, like I don't do it all the time either. Um, but there's no doubt that in this world when we bring Christ to a situation, some people reject us out of that. And that's hard when that happens. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching today and asking God honestly, am I doing it wrong? Because I don't, I don't want to misrepresent him. I don't want to bring myself into these conversations. I'm not saying I don't. I'm saying I don't have a desire to. And so I went to God and I said, I need your guidance. When I see truth, when I see how your truth applies. Is it ever wrong to speak it? There are times, absolutely there are times, God holds me back and he says, don't, don't speak into that, the timing's not right, or, or whatever. There are times when the Holy Spirit says it's wise to hold my tongue. But I find that even when the Holy Spirit isn't holding me back, people want to. And I think I'm okay with that most of the time. But it's hard. It's hard when you feel people you love retreating or wanting to place boundaries on you or just closing up. It's hard. And I know I'm not the only one who goes through that. And I know that I will come through this and I will feel better. But I also know that uh, one of the ways that Satan likes to prey on me is to convince me that 
I'm the only one who feels the way I'm feeling or that the problem is purely with me. And so I've been asking God that today. Is the problem just with me? Am I not seeing something? And I went to him with that question, genuinely, willing to adjust or uh, whatever. I, I couldn't think what I had done or said that was dishonoring to him, but I wanted to know. And I couldn't think up a, a passage that applied because I was asking about how and when to apply his truth. And so I just asked him to guide it and I did what I do when I'm looking for a Bible verse and I can't remember where it is. I did a Google search looking for, there's many websites, if you're not familiar with them. There's one called Open Bible. There's one called, I think it's Reasons for Jesus or something like that. There's a whole bunch of them. And what they'll do is rather than giving you commentary, they just give you lists of Bible verses about the issue that you're raising and then I go read them in context because I think context is really important um, so what was interesting was that I googled uh, defense of the truth and the first uh, website I saw that was just a list of verses it wouldn't open it wouldn't load so I scanned down a little bit further and the because this is what happens with internet searches the the parameters obviously changed or expanded and it had gone into defending the faith and I wasn't sure that that was going to apply um, but I clicked in just to see and and I would do a new search if it hadn't and the first uh, verse that my eyes landed on was 2nd Timothy 4 and I just want to read this passage to you. If you're in a place where you feel like you're being rejected or people are pulling away or being downright hostile because of the truth that you're bringing, um, then I hope that this will give you direction as well. Starting in verse 16, sorry, ver uh, sorry starting in chapter three, Verse 16, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, Always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill your ministry. The things there that God uh, drew my attention to was that we do need to be ready, always ready to present the truth. We need to include reproving and rebuking and exhorting, which is, you know, encouraging people towards the truth. And we need to do it with patience. Um, I know that I don't always do that, but I also know that I should. And then at the end, uh, he says, endure suffering 
do the work of an evangelist, and fulfill your ministry. We all have individual callings. We all have purposes, ways that God intends to use us here. And I'm not going to claim that everybody is the same. We're all very different. But when I asked God today, should I be not speaking so, so quickly? Should I not be correcting people? And I endeavor, I know you don't always see it online, but when I deal with people one-on-one, -on -one, I endeavor to correct gently, to not, um, to not act like something stupid or to not get impatient or angry, to just present what God's word says and then testify to any truth, any way that I have seen that at work in my own life or in the lives of people around me. And so I was genuinely asking God, am I too quick to speak? Am I too quick to identify when someone is looking at something in a way that's not of you? You know, am I too quick to try to get them to see it in a different perspective? And I'll be honest, this passage has just convinced me that I'm not. Um, but that's almost more scary because if people don't want to hear it, we have to lose people. And that's not fun. And I know I'm not the only one who deals with that. But it would almost be better for God to say, you're doing it wrong, because then I could change it and I would have some control over that. But instead he says, no, keep going. And that scares me because I love the people in my life. And I don't want to lose them over this. But it's true. God's word really does have the answers. And the Holy Spirit really does have the illumination that we need to understand it and apply it. And it means that we do things differently. And it means that we don't do things in a way that's always comfortable for the world. So if you're in that place, I want you to know that you're not alone. And if you are somebody who has recently been in touch with me, I want to thank you for not being somebody who rejects me. I really appreciate that. It's been a very... Uh, blessed time, ironically, in my life lately. And um, I don't want to misrepresent that. God has been very, very good to me and my family. And my friends are wonderful. But uh, it's just not always easy. And just like you, I'm sure, when I uh, foresee that God is asking me to do something that people aren't going to like, I don't like it. I don't want to do it. And I think it's easy with edited videos and prepared teaching to give the impression that I'm untouched by the personal aspect of a lot of this stuff, but I'm not. And I wasn't expecting to record today. 
and I'm not going to be recording a lot longer. But God told me to share with you that there will be a day when everybody will be knowing his truth and agreeing with his truth and pursuing it and enjoying it and we won't have to deal with this anymore and I'm really grateful uh, for that reassurance from him because sometimes it just feels like constantly walking against the tide and it gets lonely and I also know that the enemy wants me to believe that I'm the only one walking that way and I'm not so I say welcome aboard <laughs> um, and just hear his truth fulfill your ministry we're here for a reason we are called to life and service and love and relationship here and now in this time for a reason we are not accidents it's not coincidence God put all of us here right now today this year this generation we're meant to be here so I hope that if you are struggling with this as well that you will know you're not alone and that if you are someone who's pulling away from somebody else because they're bringing the truth or you think that to correct someone or rebuke someone is unloving all I have to say to that is that God corrects and rebukes and reproves and so did Jesus Christ and we are told to emulate him we can't live this life honoring him without doing that yes it's so important to do it in the heart of humility that he had and I'm sure like me we don't always get that right but I hope that I hope that you'll try and I hope that if there's any way that I can help go let me know and I look forward to the day that we are all in heaven together and we don't have to deal with this crap anymore okay I'm gonna go